Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we are going to go over how to use the OpenPyXL package to apply conditional formatting to spreadsheets with LibreOffice Calc. The example shown will also work with Excel and Numbers, etc. For the imports, we have from OpenPyXL import workbook, from OpenPyXL.formatting.rule import color scale rule, icon set format object rule, data bar rule, cell is rule, Formula rule from OpenPyXL.styles import pattern fill. We start by creating a workbook, grabbing the active worksheet and setting the width of the columns we will use. For our first example, we will go over how to apply a color scale to spreadsheet cells based on the numbers in the cells. The larger the number, the darker the color. Using worksheet A1 equals color scale. We set a label for the column. We will use a list of numbers from 1 to 10. To assign the values from the list to the spreadsheet, we can utilize a for loop with enumerate with worksheet.cell and assign the values to the appropriate rows and column. For the row, we assign the index from the for loop plus 2, so it starts at row 2, because the list index starts at 0. For the column, we assign 1 for column A, and the value will be the list value. To add the conditional formatting to the worksheet, we use worksheet.conditionalformatting.add. And inside the round brackets, we choose the cells we want to use, cells A1 through A11. And then for the color scale rule, we set the start, mid, and end, type, value, and color. Other type options besides num include percent, formula, max, percentile, and min. Let's save the workbook. And here we have our color scale conditional formatting. Next, let's go over how to apply an icon set. Using worksheet B1 equals icon set, we assign our column label. Then we assign our values to column B using the for loop like in the last example. If the value is negative, we want to show a red arrow pointing down. If the value is zero, we want to show a yellow arrow pointing sideways. If the value is positive, we want to show a green arrow pointing up. To begin creating the icon set, we create three variables first, second, and third, using format object with the type formula, and for the val argument, first, we use a negative one for the negatives, second, a zero for the zeros, and third, a positive one for the positives. Then we use icon set and determine the type of icon set, in this case, three arrows, and put in the first, second, and third variables. Then we create a rule with a type of icon set and assign icon set to icon set. To add the conditional formatting, we use worksheet.conditionalformatting.add. Put in cells B1 through B11 and put in the rule. Let's save it. Here we can see the icon set conditional formatting. Now, let's go over a data bar example. We will assign our label data bar to cell C1. Then we assign our values to the C column. Next, we create the data bar rule and set num for the start and end type. 1 for the start value, 10 for the end value and a shade of blue for the color. And finally, we add the rule to the worksheet using worksheet.conditionalformatting.add, cell C1 through C11, and put in the rule. Save it. Here is the data bar conditional formatting.
Here we have an example of how to make a cell red if it is equal to a certain value. In this case, we want any cells with 5 to be red. First, we assign the label equal to cell D1. Next, we create our pattern fill with a solid color red. Here we assign some numbers to the worksheet. Then we add the conditional formatting to the cells using worksheet.conditionalformatting.add. Inside the round brackets, we put in cells D1 through D11, and then we put in cell is rule. And for the cell is rule, the operator equals equal. The formula equals 5, and we put the 5 inside square brackets inside quotes. And for the fill, we use red fill. Let's save the workbook. And we can see here that only the fives are red. For our last example, let's go over how to highlight even numbers with the color yellow. First, we assign our label even to cell E1. Then we create the pattern fill for the color yellow. Using this code, we assign our values to the worksheet. And to apply the conditional formatting, we use worksheet.conditionalformatting.add. Inside the round brackets, we put in cells E1 through E11. And then we put in formula rule. And for the formula rule, the formula equals inside square brackets and quotes is even. And inside the is even round brackets, we put E1. For the fill, we assign yellow fill. Let's save it. And we can see the even numbers have been highlighted yellow. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.